What if you could turn a simple OLED screen into a real-time digital and analog clock powered by Wi-Fi and running on the tiny SP32? In this project, we are building a smart clock that syncs the time from the internet and displays it on a 128 by 64 OLED screen. First as a digital clock and then as a beautiful analog clock, all using the same setup. To build this Wi-Fi powered clock, you will need one USB 32 DAV board, one OLED display 128 by 64 SSD 1306, jumper wires, one micro USB cable. Let's wire up the OLED to the USB 32. GND of OLED to GND on ESP32, VCC or VDD of OLED to 3.3 volt on ESP32, SCL or SCK to GPIO 22, SDA to GPIO 21. Double check your connections before powering up. Now download the codes and library files given in the description below. Open the code and library files if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. Now let's start with digital clock code. We begin by including the libraries needed to connect to Wi-Fi, control the OLED screen, and fetch time from the internet using NTP protocol. We define the screen size of the OLED and then create a display object to communicate with the screen using I2C. Replace your underscore SSID and your underscore password with your actual Wi-Fi network credential. This will allow the USB 32 to connect to the internet. Here we set the time zone offset in seconds. For India, that's 19800 seconds, the NTP server helps us to get real-world current time. In setup function, we connect to Wi-Fi and initialize the OLED display. Once connected, we use config time function to fetch the correct time based on your time zone. In the loop, we continuously fetch the latest local time from the NTP server and store it in time info. Here we format the time into a 12-hour clock and also determine whether it's a AM or PM. We also have to format the data into a simple day, month, year format like at 25th April 2025. Finally, we print the date and time to the OLED screen using different text sizes and position for clear visibility. The display is updated every second. That's it. Now we will upload the code to the USB 32. Plug your USB 32 into the computer using the USB cable. Select the correct board USB 32 DAV module. Then go to the tools, select the port where your USB 32 is connected, for example COM4. Make sure to replace the Wi-Fi name and password here. Now click the upload button. If you see connecting dots appear, just hold down the boot button until it starts uploading. Once uploaded and connected to Wi-Fi, the USB 32 fetches the current time from the NTP server and displays. The current date at the top, the live digital clock in 12-hour format in the center, and the AM PM indicator at the bottom right. The display updates every second. Watch your OLED transform into a slick digital clock. Now, ready for the analog version? In this version, we are using the same OLED and Wi-Fi setup. But this time, we draw a clock face with hands for hour, minute, and second, just like a real analog wall clock. We use Dignometry to calculate the angles for each hand based on the real-time values from the NTP client library. Now just open its code file. We start by including all necessary libraries. This helps us connect to Wi-Fi, fetch time from the internet using NTP and control the OLED display. We define the OLED size and create an object display to control it using the Adrafoot library. Replace your underscore SSID and your underscore password with your actual Wi-Fi network details. We create an NTP client to fetch time from pool.ntp.org. The number 19800 is the offset in seconds for Indian Standard Time, which is a UTC plus 5 hours and 30 minutes. We start serial communication for debugging at 115200 baud rate. We initialize the OLED display. If it fails, the program will stop. We then clear the display. Now we connect to the Wi Fi network and print status using the serial monitor. Finally, we start the NTP client. Inside the loop, we update the time every second. We fetch hour, minutes and second using the NTP client. Clear the screen, draw the clock with updated time and then display it. A delay of 1 second gives real-time clock behavior. This function draws the analog clock. We set the center and radius of the clock. Draw the circular clock face. We draw all 12 numbers by rotating them around the center using trigonometry. The hour hand is shorter and uses both hour and minute values for smooth motion. The minute hand is longer and smoother, and it also updates based on seconds. 
the second hand updates every second and goes all the way to the clock stage. And that's it. Now upload this code in the same circuit as done earlier. The result? A mini analog clock that updates every second with precision and looks amazing. If you like this project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting DIY tech with RoboArmy.